Jack, back in Vegas, are you, uh, are you getting used to, to fighting in Las Vegas? Is it enjoyable for you at all? Yeah, I think so. It's nice to get here and, uh, you know, we have the PI close by, uh, great training f- facilities, so uh, I'm happy to be here in Vegas. I was kind of curious if maybe you didn't talk to him and be like, hey, can we push for like a month? I could fight in London, it'd be a little easier. Yeah, right, and uh, especially without a crowd again, you know, uh, it's not the preferred situation, but, uh, you know, uh, I'm here and ready to do the job. Very nice. Uh, main event again as well, I mean, uh, do you... Do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy being the headliner and the added responsibilities and all that comes with it? Absolutely. I'm super happy to be in this position. I think, uh, you know, uh, you're privileged as a fighter to be headlining a card and it uh, it means that the UFC uh, are appreciating you and see you as one of their main fighters. Uh, you don't strike me as a guy that loves to, like, talk trash or try to sell fights. I mean, does that part of it, do you feel like, oh, but, you know, they expect me to do something like that? No, you know, I think my skills speaks for themselves, and uh, it's nice with the diversity and different personalities, so not everybody has to be the get- bad guy. Fair enough. I guess Sean Strickland doesn't mind being the bad guy, right? What do you, what do you make of him as a character? I mean, are you, are you entertained by him? Are you put off by him? Like, what do you think about him? No, I'm mostly entertained by it. You never know what you, what you get with him, and, uh, you know, our relationship are, are, are friendly, but at the same time, you know, he's a loose cannon. You never know what kind of... Jump out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you think he'll try to like you know the face off and you know do you think he'll try to get to you a little bit, play a little mind games? Um, I don't think so during the face off, but during the fights, definitely. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, all right, so we know about him as a person. What do you make of his skills? Because he's he's on a nice run and kind of coming to the top of the division. Yeah, you know he's a guy has a great record and uh, in middleweight he's undefeated. He looks great. Great win streak. Um, so you got to give it to him. Uh, he's a guy that always comes forward, full pressure, and most people seem to have trouble to handle that. Yeah. How about yourself? I mean, where do you feel about your career as a You had a couple setbacks, but again, I mean, we're talking about the best of the best. So, I mean, where do you feel that you're at in your career right now? Um, I feel I am at my peak right now, and I'm just getting better. And uh, uh, as you mentioned, it has been a few up and downs, but the, the margins are for error are so small in this sport, and uh, I just need to put everything together. And uh, when I do that, I know that I can become the best. Are you thinking at all about like where this puts you? I mean, you know, there's kind of the, the, the you know the top of the divisions fighting next month. It seems yeah. like there'll be some big fights available. Are you thinking about what comes next at all? Yeah, all the time, all the time. I'm always trying to find my way up there, you know, and. Uh, um, yeah, you have a couple of guys uh, that are fighting, and it's going to be interesting to see how, how it goes. Uh, but I feel I'm, uh, you know, with a great win here, I'm, uh, I'm putting myself next in line. Yeah. Do you think you can be number one contender after this, basically, or even a title shot? I mean, where do you feel? Yeah, if I do a good enough performance, you know, uh, and then it depends on the other contenders, Bronze and Canonier, how will they perform? Are they going to do an exciting fight or not? Uh, you know, we had a lot of rematches lately, Victoria against Adesanya, now Whitaker against Adesanya. Do we want to see Bronson against Adesanya? I'm not sure, you know, I think people want to see Jack Hermanson and Adesanya. I like it. Uh, you know, you talked about him talking during the fight and stuff. Is that a good thing for you or a bad thing? I mean, do you, like, do you have to make sure you keep yourself calm or do you kind of like being fired up a little bit so you can teach him a lesson? Uh, you know, I think it can be uh, annoying, but I ask my sparring partners to do the same, just be prepared for it and I'm visualizing it. So uh, I'm ready for whatever uh, is coming out of his mouth or whatever techniques he's throwing at me. Nice. Do the sparring partners enjoy talking shit to you, basically? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. Last thing for me, you said it, man. You do something impressive here. You know, now your name gets in there. So do you go in the cage thinking, like, let's do something impressive? Do you push more to do something spectacular? You know, you're always trying to do your best, but I visualize it. It's in my mind. I don't want to do a tough, long, grueling fight against Sean Strickland. You know, I want to do... I want to have a perfect performance. Um, so precision, perfection, early, nice, clean victory, dominance. That, that's what I'm looking for. Jack. Sean said that you actually happened to see him last night after he'd finished sparring and that he felt he didn't look very threatening. Did you see him and did you think he looked threatening? Uh, he didn't look threatening, but I know uh, what skills he, he possesses and what he's going to bring. Uh, and uh, I'm sure I'm not very threatening as well. <laughs> Is he one of those guys where you kind of almost have to accept the fact that he might stick around because he's tough and durable, so you can't think, well, I'll go in there, get rid of this guy. You have to sort of mentally prepare for maybe three, four rounds. Yeah, definitely. You always have to be ready, and he's extremely durable, hard to finish. I think he only was finished once, uh, so he's not an easy guy to get out of there. But at the same time, I think that 
that motivates me to to be able to do that uh, that nobody else is uh, is able to do. So, yeah. What was the most upsetting or insulting thing a training partner said to you during sparring? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I think I just uh, let, let it pass by, you know, and, and focus on the test. And that's what I'm looking forward to do on Saturday night as well. You didn't hear something and you think, I'll hold that against them forever. And next <laughs> time you sparred them, you're like, oh, I don't know you said that. No, but I managed to shut them up. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys.